Thomas Jefferson quotes on freedom of living. How little do my countrymen know what precious blessings they are in possession of, and which no other people on earth enjoy. Those who expect to be both ignorant and free, expect what never was and never will be. We confide in our strength, without boasting of it, we respect that of others, without fearing it. The appointment of a woman to office is an innovation for which the public is not prepared, nor am I. I predict future happiness for Americans if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. Every citizen should be a soldier. This was the case with the Greeks and Romans, and must be that of every free state. God grant that men of principle shall be our principal men. History is philosophy teaching by examples. Honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. I'm a greater believer in luck, and I find the harder I work the more I have of it. When angry count to ten before you speak. If very angry, count to one hundred. Never put off to tomorrow what you can do today. Do you want to know who you are? Don't ask. Act. Action will delineate and define you. When you come to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. Be polite to all, but intimate with few. I was bold in the pursuit of knowledge, never fearing to follow truth and reason to whatever results they led. Don't talk about what you have done or what you are going to do. I predict future happiness for Americans if they can prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. The most valuable of all talents is that of never using two words when one will do. Never buy a thing you do not want, because it is cheap, it will be dear to you. He who knows best knows how little he knows. How much pain they have cost us, the evils which have never happened. There is nothing more unequal than the equal treatment of unequal people. I find friendship to be like wine, raw when new, ripened with age, the true old man's milk and restorative cordial. Truth is certainly a branch of morality and a very important one to society. It is always better to have no ideas than false ones, to believe nothing than to believe what is wrong. Happiness is not being pained in body or troubled in mind. Whenever you do a thing, act as if all the world were watching. The God who gave us life gave us liberty at the same time. The glow of one warm thought is to me worth more than money. It is error alone which needs the support of the government. Truth can stand by itself. Do not bite at the bait of pleasure till you know there is no hook beneath it. A coward is much more exposed to quarrels than a man of spirit. There is not a truth existing which I fear, or would wish unknown to the whole world.
he who knows nothing is closer to the truth than he whose mind is filled with falsehoods and errors. My only fear is that I may live too long. This would be a subject of dread to me. There is not a sprig of grass that shoots uninteresting to me. Never spend your money before you have earned it. In matters of style, swim with the current, in matters of principle, stand like a rock. I hope our wisdom will grow with our power, and teach us, that the less we use our power the greater it will be. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty. Walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far. No freeman shall be debarred the use of arms. Where the press is free and every man able to read, all is safe. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as a cause for withdrawing from a friend. Leave no authority existing not responsible to the people. But friendship is precious, not only in the shade, but in the sunshine of life, and thanks to a benevolent arrangement the greater part of life is sunshine. The boisterous sea of liberty is never without a wave. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. Nothing is unchangeable but the inherent and unalienable rights of man.